Hello and welcome back to Snivy Pips. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your friends. So, we are back with another deck review video, and you might be thinking to yourself, hey, this sounds a little bit different. Why does he sound so amazing today? And that is, the truth is, we got a brand new microphone. It's one of these nice streamer ones you'll see on, like, all kinds of live streams, Twitch streamers and stuff. It has, like, a nice arm and stuff. You can even adjust the sound and stuff, as you just heard as I'm playing with it. And it's, it's really nice. I made a little short video on it that's gone about... Actually, I think it's it's up right now as I'm recording this. So make sure you go check that out. The link will be in the description for that. And I think that's about it for the beginning. So let's get right into the deck. We are reviewing a Phalanx deck. So we'll include Phalanx V and the regular Phalanx cards. And this is really... These are really good. These are really fun to play. So Phalanx is the V card. Giga Impact. During your current turn, next turn during your current or next turn that's a strange interpretation but it is unfortunately only during your next turn you get impact 210 damage and its ability all of your pokemon that have phalanx in their name take 20 less damage from your opponent's attacks now if you have four of these out that's 80 damage less which is already amazing now phalanx regularly you got call for family search your deck for two basic pokemon put them onto your bench that can get out more phalanxes and you got team attack 30 th 30 times, 30 damage times, or whatever you want to do. I, it is, I'm sorry, it's, it's really late for me, as you can see. Well, technically it's not late, it's, it's 9.30 at night, and I'm just recording this really quickly to get it out for you guys, because I love you so much. So, it is 30 damage for each of your bench Pokemon that has failings in its name. Now, maximum, maximum damage, you're going to get... You're active, which is going to be one, and then you're going to have your five bench Pokemon. So you're going to be doing a total of 210 damage with just a single prize attacker right off the bat. And if you have a bunch of those regular Phalanxes out, the Phalanx Vs, then you're going to be doing even more damage. But it's going to be the reverse way because you're going to be taking less damage. Now you have all kinds of ways to search them out. You got your ball guys with your pokeballs your quick balls your level balls and you even got some great balls in here you got all kinds of balls everywhere even energies like look, look at this you got circles everything all right that's about it that's about it for i don't know the whole really explanation of the deck it's pretty straightforward so you know what we're gonna do what we always do we're gonna go into some versus mode and we are gonna play a couple games with this phalanx deck by the way Versus has reset, and Dragapult VMAX is now the new Versus reward, which is very nice. It's a very playable, very expensive card. So you guys are going to have 20 days still to get that. So if you can't get to it now, that's no big deal, but you definitely are going to want to cop all of those. So we're into a match really quickly this time, which is a bit surprising. And we're up against Guest Player, a very, um, very good name. So they're loading the game well, hopefully, you know, hopefully I'll take it if they lag out. Ah, dang it, that sucks. All right, we're going to call the coin flip. We're going to call it Tails, and we lost, unfortunately. Now this deck doesn't really matter if we go first or second. We're going to go second in this situation. So starting off, we have our regular Phalanx and two Phalanx V cards. So we are going to put that Phalanx onto the active spot. And we are, we basically what I like to do, I never really told you any people why I do this, but I always just put out an active Pokemon because your opponent's going first. They're not going to be able to do anything to you either way. So if they have like cards that will damage the bench Pokemon, if you don't put any bench Pokemon out, then they're not going to be able to do those. They're not going to be able to attack any any of your active Pokemon anyways, so you don't have to get that risk of getting it knocked out. The only situation where you're going to want to put out bench Pokemon is where they actually affect your opponent's turn. Like right now, they could have had a Galarian Zigzagoon, and I wouldn't have even known it. So we're going to play a Martial Arts Dojo, and we're going to put down our two Phalanx V-Cards, which are meaning we are going to take 40 less damage from attacks. So we're going to attach our Strong Energy, very, very nice, which is actually really good because it lets you take another 20 less damage. Right now we're up to 60 less damage, so to one hit us, they'd have to do 150 damage. We're going to do Call for Family, and we're going to get two more of the... Oh, no! I messed it up. I'm an idiot. Ah, that sucks, man. 
why did I, why did I do that? I, that is, that's the worst part of applying online. You got the misclicks. In real life, that could have never happened. That, that couldn't have happened either way, unless you deliberately played it and like you threw your deck across the room or something. Then that wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have messed that up. Which, I mean, it really does suck being online in that situation. But it is better online because, I mean, in real life, you actually have to find people to play with. And that kind of sucks sometimes. So, I mean, you got you got your pros and cons. But me personally, I, I, I prefer playing in real life. I'm going to be honest here. So, we got our pawn. He's going to be playing Nest Ball. Get a land it onto his bench over there. Let's see what else we're going to do. Attach a fire energy to that little cylinder over there. And use clear search on his Milotic card over there. So now it is going to be our turn. we got to make a decision. Are we going to use, like, a Marnie or something? Try and get um, some more cards. Trying to get some more Phalanxes. First of all, we got our Great Ball. You can see nothing, unfortunately. And, y'all, I'm going to make the executive decision. We're going to attach an energy to Phalanx. And we are going to Marnie our cards away. And hope that we can find some more cards. We have. Very, very nice. We got a, another Phalanx V card. We can put it on the bench there. Which we love to see it. Which means we are... No, I'm, I'm still just going to do Call for Family. They're not going to be able to knock us out next turn anyways. Because we do have all of those Phalanx V cards on the bench. Which is very, very nice. So now we're going to be doing our max damage here. Which is going to be 180 damage, as it seems. Because you got 30 damage times the our bench Pokemon. 30 times 5 is not 180. What am I talking about? 30 times 5, we're going to be doing 150 damage. It is a little less. It's still amazing for just a single prize attacker. I mean, this deck it really is very, very good. I'm considering playing this deck as an alternative to the Rushes Are deck that I play now, but I'm gonna use it like for post rotation or something. But I don't know. It is it is very, very, very good. So, hmm, got a twin energy card. What are we gonna attack it to? We're gonna attach it to Phalanx on the bench there. And we're going to use our team attack for a total of 160 damage with our little martial arts dojo stadium card. Love to see it. And we're going to get a fighting energy card right there. That'll be very, very nice. So they're going to put down a tag team Eevee and Snorlax, which... And they're actually going to put down a Victini card, too. Haha, <laughs> they think they got me. They put down a Scorched Earth. We have another Martial Arts Dojo. Because we're awesome. That was probably... That probably sounded terrible in the video. I, mean, I don't know what I did. I'm stupid. Anyways, they got an Intellion V card now. They're, like, putting up all their good stuff on the bench here. And they are they going to attack us? They can attack us for nothing. I was going to say 10 damage, but... uh. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing a lot less than that at this point. So they're going to do 20 damage. They're supposed to do 100. They're doing 20. Because we that is that is how amazingly good this card is. Like, literally. It is insane. So look at this. Look at all these beautiful ball cards we got. We're going to get two level balls. And we're going to get a great ball. Why not? You know? I mean, like, literally, why not? She's got a bunch of them all. Oh, it has to be different ones. Okay. Apparently, we're getting three different ones. Apparently. Um, yeah. So, we're going to use our level ball. We're going to get another Phalanx card. So that we can replace our old one once it gets retired. Or whatever. And, obviously, we're going to replace that Scorched Earth. We don't want them doing anything. I will send a little message or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sort of messing with this guy now. He already knows I'm going to win. Like, literally, we're doing 160 damage a pop. They can only do 20 damage to us with their attacks, even though they're fully powered up, which is, frankly, insane. And look at that. Just like I said, there's no way they were going to win. They just conceded to us. I mean, this deck really is very, very good. It is, well, it's very, very good. So, we are going to be going into another versus match right now. After it loads in. Ooh, we got a little prize for us here. What's it going to be? What's going to be? It is going to be 25 Pokecoins. Not bad. And are we going to get anything else? Nope. And that's okay. We can probably get that after this game here. When you concede now, um, 
they aren't going to count that as like a regular one. It's almost like a half one. So they're only going to give you about half the points that they would usually give you, which is, it sucks, but I can see where they're coming from on that perspective. Like, it's not real. You win. It's your opponent's, well, it's, con it's a concession. You're, you're winning by default. So it doesn't really count. You didn't really win your way to winning, if that makes any sense. So, you're going to put up our Phalanx V card, because that is the only one we have, unfortunately. Now, this one. Hmm. Okay. I was going to say, we could have used that, and we could have gotten a free retreat on that. But, eh, what are you going to do? So, we're going to use our level ball. We're going to get a Phalanx card. It's going to go onto the bench. We're going to use another level ball. And we're going to get a Phalanx card. But this one, we're going on the hand, because we need to get... Those extra phalanx V cards instead of just the regular phalanxes. So we're going to attach a twin energy to regular phalanx V card in hopes that we can retreat him next turn with the stone fighting energy. And that's going to be about the end of our turn. We're going to pass it to our opponent. And it is now his turn when he's going to use heavy ball. And yeah, let's see what he's going to get. And Charizard V Max, a shining fates version. Not bad. That is a. That is a pretty good card. I mean, online is probably not going to be worth much. But in real life, holy cow, the PSA version of that card is going crazy in the prices right now. I mean, pretty much all of the Pokemon stuff, it's, we're having another 25th anniversary incident here. Like, all the prices are going up. I have, I, I think I showed it in one of my collection videos. I have a base fossil booster pack. And that thing is going up into the five dollars $600 range. I mean, it is getting crazy how much that thing is selling for nowadays and our turn we're just gonna do a little thing which is attach energy pass turn so we can get that other energy from our phalanx next turn which is what you want to see and they're gonna evolve into that charizard v max like you want to i mean you're playing a charizard v max deck you're gonna want to evolve into a charizard v max i think that's obvious i don't know i don't know I mean, maybe you don't want to evolve into charizard v max and your charizard v max maybe it's just an illusion or whatever i don't know all righty so we got our professor's research we are going to research away everything and wow that is a lot of energies but that's something that can really help us now so we are just going to use call for family and we're going to get i did it again i did it again i how 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 how? Like the trainer card, you know? Man, come on, man. All right. How, how, how? I keep saying, how do I do this, man? Like, that's the thing that I'm talking about. Like, you can't, that that can't happen in real life. I mean, that's only going to happen uh, when you're playing this game online, which it sucks. And it, it, it really is awful that it happens so much. But, I mean, the, the, the terrible thing about it is there's nothing you can do. It's just, it's, it's bad, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, we can probably come back from that. We're just going to attach, try and retreat. Actually, that was probably, that was stupid. Because he's just going to knock us out next turn anyways. And then we're going to be dead. So you know what? I've already screwed this up um, too much than I can even handle. So we are just going to concede the game. And we're going to go into a fresh new game with a new set of cards in our hand. And hopefully I do not screw it up this time. And you know what? We're actually going to do something. We're going to play in standard format now. Like, I should have been. I don't know. I, my mind is going crazy now. Like, I told you, it's it's late for me. So I'm, I'm a bit nuts right now. So we got our little Pikachu man here with uh, the fluffy brown hair. I don't know. So, we're going to call the coin flip. We're going to call Tails this time. We'll see what happens. And we won the coin flip. Very nice. We're going to go first so we can get that extra energy on Phalanx, which you always want to happen. Unless you don't have a Phalanx and you didn't have anything either. So, double mulligan. My favorite thing to happen. Because then you get a fresh new start. Look at that. We got our Phalanx. Love to see it. Phalanx, you love it. You love Phalanx. He's playing a... That little cake guy, I forget the name. I don't know. It's like a, it looks like uh, your mom's wedding cake, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm probably going to get demonetized for saying that. And <laughs> you got a Phalanx V. That's very nice. going to put that on the bench there. Use level ball. We're going to get a regular Phalanx card. 
And we're going to put that on the bench as well. We're going to use our twin energy, put that on the Bay Lynx card. And that's about it because we are going first and not second, which I mean, eh, it's okay. So, hey, there you go. Al Creamy, Al Creme, well, however you want to call it. Or, like, if you're French, you're going to call it, I don't know. I don't know. Like, is there any French people watching it? How, how do you pronounce Al Creamy? Like, do you just say it Al Creme or something? I don't know. That's probably. That's probably very, that's probably gonna offend people. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Anyways, I don't know what I'm even talking about now. All right. We're gonna use call for family like we actually should have been for like the past five games. On but you know, I just apparently don't like doing that now. I don't know. It's strange. So we got call for family. We got two more of those phalanx V cards on the bench, which means we are now taking eighty less damage from attacks, which you love to see it. And, ah, dang it, he's going to use that Team Flare Grunt again. Team Flare Grunt is not a fun card. It is not a fun card. Like, it should just ban it. It's just, it, it's broken. It's Well, it's not broken, but right now it's broken because I don't like it. And that's how it works. Yeah. I don't know. So, we're going to get Ball Guy. We're going to use our Quick Ball, our Level Ball, and our Great Ball. Or first of all, we're going to try and use the Great Ball to get that V card. Nope. Don't want that. And that's about it. So we're going to use the quick ball. We're going to get rid of our little energy there. And we're going to get a failing speak card. So now we are taking 100 full damage counters less of attacks, which is insanity if you think about it. If you're just a, a regular Pokemon. And we already have five failing suits on the bench. So we're going to do 150 damage to the Alcreme on the active spot. Now he does have a team flare grunt on in his hand, which is unfortunate, but we do have our professor's research, which we can use and we can just draw a new hand and hopefully we will get an energy card. Well, oh, actually no, he got rid of that. And there you go. We got the concession. You love to see it. That's the power of the phalanx deck. It literally forces your opponent to concede every time. Like just play it. Trust me. Um, Actually, no, um, no, don't, don't do that. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Cause then you're going to make a lot of people, man, that's not going to be good. You don't, you don't want that. Alrighty. So that's the failing deck for you. It's really good. I'm actually considering playing it for my post rotation deck. I don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't leave it in the comment section below what you think I should do. And I think that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or just want to spark conversation, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And like always, guys, stay tuned to the Savvy Pad. And just like my brand new microphone, um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Bye. <music>